are people out there who had COVID four years ago and are still suffering. Extreme fatigue, memory problems, dizziness, shortness of breath. These are just a few of the 200 symptoms that they can link back to what's called long COVID. That's when the symptoms of COVID last longer than three months. Now, there are no FDA approved or even widely agreed upon treatments for this. But now researchers are trying to get to the root of the problem, hoping to help people who are suffering the longest. Four years after we put on masks, isolated and got the shot, researchers are still looking for answers as to why some people can shake the symptoms while others can't. We still have very little answers about what causes long COVID and persistent symptoms in most people. The CDC reports nearly one in five Americans who had COVID-19 still struggle with long COVID. But interestingly, older adults are less likely to get long COVID. Nearly three times as many adults, 50 to 59, currently have long COVID than those 80 and older. Northwestern doctor Mark Salas research focuses on finding out what's happening. What they all had in common is that many of them had these CT scans, which showed that their lungs had inflammation and some amount of scar on them. Dr. Sala used advanced gene expression technology and CT scans and found that harmful immune cells continued to infiltrate the lungs, causing inflammation. Even three months, six months, nine months, or up to a year, we had individuals with an ongoing migration of inflammatory cells. Dr. Sala believes that this research will not only lead to new treatments of long COVID, but help people with other lung problems. What's next? on our research is finding out how to stop the influx of these particular cells that we know to be associated with fibrosis and trying to help that situation, whether it's after COVID, after flu, or in other conditions. Now, the CDC also reports that the percentage of adults with current long COVID symptoms varies by states. People in Kentucky, Alabama, Tennessee, and South Dakota, those had the highest rates, while Hawaii, Maryland, and Virginia actually have the lowest.